Hi, my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Ephrata, Washington, and we're out here for a tour of Daisy House Retreat Center. All right, we're going to start out here on the deck because the best thing about being in Soap Lake is, of course, the lake. Those of you that have been out here before, you know that we have a healing lake. It's a mineral-rich lake, mirametric lake, with no fish in it. It's known to treat psoriasis, eczema, and it has cured Berger's disease. Daisy House is directly across the alley from Gate 17. Gate 17 is our other retreat center that can hold up to 22 people. What's really nice is they have their own little patio, you have your patio. All you have to do is take over a bottle of wine and introduce yourselves. All right, so just in off of the deck is the great room where you do all of your sewing. This is a huge room. It's over a thousand square feet and everybody gets to sew together. We have a couple of little sitting areas. This is our front door over here. And again, I'm just gonna open this so you can see. The front door goes right across over to where gate 17 is. It's kind of nice to have other future quilting friends that are here. We also have 10 uh, des movable design walls for everybody. We have some extra tables if you need some extra cutting tables. We have it set up so that each person has two two foot by four foot tables and a rolling armless chair. We also have uh, extension cords with USB chargers in them, and all of the plugins are uh, in the floor. And if you look up, there are six rows of 10 lights that are 100 watt daylight bulbs. So even at night, you have lots and lots of light. You can bring your alt light if you feel like you need it, but you probably won't need it. There's also an extra sliding glass door for another little area outside on the deck with a barbecue and um, extra seating. As you come around to the side, what's going to happen is we're going to go down and we'll show you down the hallway. We'll show you where the bedrooms are. Of course, your thermostat is independently controlled by you for whatever heat or air conditioning you'd like. We also have free Wi-Fi for everybody, and it's a large server that should be able to easily handle all 10 of you, your phones, and whatever um, tablets you might bring. We have a bulletin board that has whatever's going on in Soap Lake, as well as a little area over here where we sell some of Soap Lake's goods, some of the soaps, some lotions, some alleviate, that kind of thing, if you don't feel like you can make it downtown. And then in our first hallway here, we're going to show you up close in just a minute, but we have three bedrooms. There's two twin beds in each bedroom, and this is the largest of the bathrooms. It's going to be right here, and we'll show you that up close as well. So all of the bedrooms are just a little bit different. And um, so I'm just gonna show you what's unique about each one because I think they're kind of fun. So this one in particular, um, so this one has this really cool pillow that was actually made by Amy Osmondson. It's this fun little um, uh, collage technique, quilting technique that's sort of cool. And on the beds in here, this is our Hope Floats pattern. It's available by download or in a printed pattern. And it's really nice because it is a super fast project to make. Uh, you can do it with a layer cake and some uh, extra yardage for your focus piece. And for this particular one, uh, we use, it, I think this is a line called Create. Um, and we have the white on black, and then it's the exact same quilt over here. This is one of our most popular quilts, and we have other examples of this in our shop and here on the grounds because it's just so fast to make, and it's a really nice opportunity to use a panel or a focus piece that you'd like. Um, also, I just want to show, oh, this is another quilt that's in here. I should show you this one. This one is Hollywood. You're going to see it again in another room, but I'll show you this version of it. This is also um, our pattern, and we started out with this as a bed runner was what we first did. Um, if you don't have time to make a whole bunch of king size quilts for different seasonal things, we were making bed runners and matching pillows, and then I liked this pattern so much, I'm going to flip it one more time that if you take five and a half yards of a really cool fabric and then we just off-centered the little bed runner panel that went down the center, it's really just a low volume 
modern quilt that's really kind of cool looking. This particular fabric, I don't know if it comes up very well in the camera, but this is um, Poetry by Emily Dickinson. It, no longer available, don't fall in love with it, but any really cool fabric that you want. It could be something even brighter. And again, you'll see a couple other versions of this quilt. The last thing in here that I want to show you is um, hanging on the wall in here. Instead of having a closet, what we have is we have these two benches at the bottom of the beds, some little baskets. And what we've done in each, each room, we have a set of towels. Every set of towels is a totally different color so that whenever you come um, and you go into the bathroom and you do whatever, you know that this is your towel and the pink towels are someone else's and the purple towels are someone else's. So you have your set of towels, spot for your uh, suitcase. And then in this particular one, we have kind of just this cool sort of open closet. But I just want to show you this for a second. This was made by our Tracy Cole. She is a local artist and she likes to do mixed media. She's working on a website, so you also can purchase some of her pieces. And she does an art show every year here in Soap Lake. All right, we're going to walk across the hall and we'll show you another bedroom. Okay, so we are in the bedroom directly across the hall. And I just want to show you the window coverings. These are the same in all of the bedrooms. So they're all room darkening blinds and you can come down halfway so you can peer out no matter what you're wearing. Or if you bring them up, they're totally room darkening. And then of course, if you need to, you can go up that way if you'd like to, it doesn't matter. All of them, uh, the windows open in case you like fresh air at night. Um, and in every room we have extra quilts to keep you comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this room really fast. And I want to show you what we have for closets in this room. This one is a little bit different also. It isn't really a classic closet. We have two racks where you can put your suitcase, hang up whatever you'd like. You have some baskets down there. And again, you have your own color of towels when you're in here. And now I wanna show you the quilts in this room because of course, we don't care so much about a bedroom. Everybody uh, knows what beds look like and what a bedroom looks like. It's really all about the trunk show, right? So um, these are also Hollywood. So I said that uh, we could show you, oh no, wait, this one is Hollywood. We could show you what it looks like with a different color of fabric. These two quilts used the same fabric, but they're totally different patterns. So this one, is Hollywood so the same one that we just saw across the hall but this one is with a fabric that has a little bit more going on kind of fun little print and still just some soft pastel colors I love the peach and the teal I think that that's just a really pretty combination and then this pattern is second slice Second slice is a super popular pattern. You can do it with 10 inch squares and it's exactly what it sounds like. You make one cut, sew them together, make another cut, sew them together, and then you're done. This is with one layer cake and a border print, but of course you can make it as big as you'd like with however many 10 inch squares you'd like to use. Okay, there's four other quilts in here that are um, available for your use just in case uh, everybody else is uh, hotter than you are. Um, so this one is just a scrappy 16 on point, just kind of a fun, uh, simple little pattern. It's not one of our patterns. Um, I think it's just sort of traditional, been around for a long time. This one is the pineapple. This was the one that we featured in our Southern Comfort Retreat that we hosted. It's a good time to talk about hosted retreats. So sometimes what will happen is, um, I think six times per year, we host retreats where um, we do all of the cooking for you. We do all um, the project, all of the teaching, and um, you come and you get to spend five days and four nights with us and you can bring a friend or um, uh, meet a new one. And of course, you will meet 21 other people that are coming to Quilt at the same time. Uh, those, uh, the information on our hosted retreats is on our website at fabricpatch.net and uh, the new ones for next year go on sale on January 15th for the year. Some of them we fill up extremely quickly. You also have an opportunity to be on a waiting list in case things change as they come, um, as they come closer.
This one is upside down. This one is called um, Timber. This is Brianna's pattern, also available on our website in PDF or printed form. And essentially it is a humongous log cabin. So this is a great quilt if you just have to make a quilt in two hours. And it's really all about the fabric. If you have directional fabric, it works great. If you have a whole line that you wanna use, it'll work great. Just a really fun, fast quilt. And again, we have lots of samples of that one. This is just a little um, Ohio Star made out of Kaif fabric. Um, just super simple, super quick, nice and bright. Teal, let's go on to the next bedroom. Okay, again, this one has the same uh, fun little closet so that you have a spot for your suitcase. You can see two different colored towels. I have kind of an old, uh, a collection of old um, pillowcases that are sort of fun. And a lot of the rooms have the hand embroidered pillowcases. Uh, we do lawn, um, obviously we launder them, but at some point we find that they don't wear quite the same. And so those are the ones that after we've washed them a hundred times and um, we just hang them over there and I don't, maybe someday I'll figure out something to do with them. But this is actually one of my favorite rooms because I just love um, vintage floral. I love floral fabrics in general. I really love the quilts in here. Um, so we do have just kind of a basic coverlet on here because I really liked the colors, but the quilts that are in here, there's five of them. And I think only one might be a pattern that's available. This one was a block of the month that we did probably about 15 years ago. Brianna made this when she was, well, she had to have been maybe 15 at the time. Out of all of these florals, we just did a whole bunch of 12 inch blocks and notice the sashing on this. The sashing, instead of your basic two inch sashing, she did two and a half inch squares out of all of these mixed florals that were left over from her blocks. And I think it's such a beautiful quilt. The other thing that I love about this quilt is the backing. I think it's funny because years ago when I first started quilting, we would find whatever was on sale and you know whatever was left over for the back because we thought that it didn't matter. And that's not true at all. I think that the back should be just as beautiful and just as gorgeous as the front. Because think about that, when you look at a quilt, don't you always just kind of flip it over just to see what's on the back, just to see? So oftentimes when there's a fabric that I just can't cut up, that I think is so beautiful, it becomes the backing, which is kind of funny. So over here on the um, quilt ladder in this room, we have a couple of quilts. This one is just an old quilt. I can't say that I know exactly what the name of the blocks are, but there's two of them. Um, they're both um, lots of pieces and um, I don't have a pattern. This one is our pattern. This is our row sampler. And this one was kind of a fun thing that kind of got sort of, I don't want to say famous, but popular during the pandemic. People were learning how to sew by making this. So it's a 13 class series, all free on YouTube. There's a pattern that's available on our website. And what it is, is each month, uh, or each class rather, is a different technique. So we've got the um, 16 block patches that are on point so you learn not just how to make this but also how to do something on point. We have this strip piecing here, we have log cabin, we have kind of a fun um, cutting trick to make this ribbon. There is some applique curved piecing down there. There's kind of a take on a modern row and then down at the bottom there's just a fun little um, uh, half square triangle block and then there's applique along the side somewhere. There's also some flying geese, migrating geese over here on the side. So it's kind of a fun um, pattern. You get to learn a lot. And at the end of each class, there's a whole quilt that if you really liked this particular row, um, we show you how to use it as just a border, if that's what you wanna do, or how to turn the whole thing into a quilt. So that's kind of a fun fun project. And then in here, this one is an old crazy quilt. We did this also in one of our retreats. And this one has a little bit of applique, a whole lot of crazy quilt um, blocks. We learned how to do quilt as you go, um, learn some other top stitches, kind of a fun, 
little quilt to there. And then this one is just a super old, really old quilt, heavily quilted. It's really more of a, um, a coverlet than a quilt because it's really just a couple of pieces with some um, scallop borders. But super warm, nice and cotton and easy if that's what you need is some extra coverage. All right, I'm going to fold these up and we'll go over to, we'll check out the bathroom and then we'll go through the dining room and the kitchen and we'll show you the last two bedrooms. All right, it's really just a basic bathroom, but I just like to point out that this is a five foot shower, which is kind of nice. We do make sure that you have um, the shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, things that you need. If there's a particular product that you like to use, obviously you'll want to bring that. There's full length mirrors. We have some um, close-up mirrors, lots of really good lighting, and extra towels down here. You do have two towels for yourself that are just yours that nobody else touches, but we have extra ones, extra toilet paper, um, face towels, different things in case you need that. So the dining room is at the end of the hallway and we have 10 chairs, great big huge dining room table. And in fact, each end is a little leaf that will fold out and we do have a bench. Just in case you wanna invite somebody else over for dinner, you have plenty of room for that because this table will actually easily sit six, seat 16. We also have kind of some fun uh, pictures of old Soap Lake. And I love to come over and give everybody a little talk about the history of Soap Lake, the community, the best shopping spots to go to, and of course, what makes our lake unique. So it's kind of fun to see some of those pictures. Also in this room, we have, you'll see in just a minute, we have another bathroom, two more bedrooms, tiny little sitting area, a little bathroom off to the side over here, and what will be directly to your left that will show you maybe next is the kitchen. The kitchen is actually really large and I think pretty well equipped, especially for 10 people. Uh, so there's two drawers just like this and each of the drawers has two garbage cans in them. There's one over here kind of by the dining room table and then there's one over by the kitchen. We also have, I think, pretty much every small appliance you might need. If there's something that you do need that's not in here, let me know. I'm sure I have it in my house and I'll bring it out for you. We've got a Keurig coffee pot. We have a hot water pot. We have a regular coffee pot. Um, lots of coffee cups. We also have lots of empty drawers for you so that um, whatever stuff you end up bringing, they're really large. Um, you have all of your room for your snacks and we have a double refrigerator, double freezer. Any of the towels that you need. We don't keep a lot of paper goods. We just wanna make sure that you know that there are no paper plates here. There's no disposable forks. We do start you out with a roll of paper towels, but we sort of think of paper goods as um, incidentals. Okay, so um, you actually have service for 16. So um, steak knives, really sharp kitchen knives, all of your silverware, and the same thing up here. You've got service for 16 for all of your dinnerware. Um, it's a double oven. Here's your other garbage can, pretty large sink, and um, I think I mentioned before that you have a double refrigerator, double freezer, so uh, lots of opportunity for feeding lots and lots of hungry quilters. Now, the other thing is that we do have a distilled or purified water dispenser here, but we really encourage you to drink our tap water. Uh, our water is filtered, but it's high in minerals. All of us drink our local tap water. It's actually really, really good for you, and we encourage you to drink it. So we will end the tour going out the laundry room and I'll show you that, but first we're gonna go back and we're gonna do more of the trunk show and we're gonna show you the other two bedrooms. Okay, so we are in the back hallway. So you can see that past the dining room into the small little bathroom that we have off to the side here. And then in this back little hallway here for somebody who really wants to be fully away from all of the noise because you're a light sleeper, we have a bedroom back here with two twin beds in it and one right behind you with two twin beds in it. And we'll show you the quilts in there in just a second. Um, oh, on the hall here, um, this is Quilters Retweet, fun little um, hand embroidered project with some teeny tiny little half square triangles that make it kind of fun. Uh, and then we have another full bathroom in here. This bathroom has a tub, shower, um, four piece bathroom. 
Okay, I know I told you that one of the other rooms was my favorite, but I really, really like this one too. So this one has a lot uh, to show you, kind of a whole lot of fun things. There's um, six different quilts in here. Well, more than that. And, um, and then a bunch of other kind of fun things. So this um, was made by my friend Roseanne Bryan from uh, South Dakota. And those little quilt blocks there are actually cross-stitched kind of fun. This is just a little um, mini quilt uh, framed um, mixed media project uh, made by Virginia Cole. And then this is a fun little pattern called uh, Jesus Knows Me, This I Love. And that's with a little paper pieced heart uh, kind of fun. And then on this bed, this is our crumb cake pattern. So I think this is the one maybe that I did in the class. This is a free um, tutorial on YouTube. And I think this is the one that I did. Uh, can't remember. But um, anyway, crumb cake is a fantastic um, quilt to make. There's sort of no rules at all. You can just use lots of stuff and either a really cool panel that you don't know what else to do with or a focus fabric. So kind of a fun thing to make. This one, I cannot remember the name of this one. This one is all out of flannel and this was a block of the month that had multiple blocks and um, some applique. We did this years ago. Kind of fun flannel project and then this one over here oh another one that I probably need to find the name of but most of these were blocks of the month that we had done um, years ago and this one was a Bonnie Hunter pattern a little bit of applique and then actually this is all flannel and this is a printed border she does this often I think at least once a year we carry a Bonnie Hunter flannel line and they all look fairly similar, something kind of like this. Her aesthetic is kind of the same. Um, this one is wood pile. This is our pattern. This one is so fast. This is almost like timber, that one of Brianna's, because what's nice about this, I guess it doesn't matter how I hold it, but um, if you have fabric that you just kind of don't want to cut up, it uses some great big pieces. And then you can use um, individual blocks. You can use some pieced blocks. You can do a panel if you'd like to. But for this particular one, we sort of wanted a Western theme. So that was what we did with these fabrics. Super fast. This is about a two hour project start to finish. And that even includes all of the cutting up. Um, this one was a gift from my friend. It has a label on it that um, I think it was something like the 70s called and they wanted their quote back. But it was um, made by my friend Donna. And I just really liked it. Uh, I can't remember the name of the block. I think it was something like maybe butter churn or something like that. A whole lot of little pieces. And so she made all of these blocks and did that really cool um, nine patch setting on point for the sashing. And so we use that in here as an extra quilt to cover up with. This is one of Brianna's and I can't remember if she has a video about this or not. I think she does on YouTube and this is her raggedy squares. So we have this in many colorways, um, both at the shop and out here. And it's just a really fun, super, super simple, absolutely can, cannot mess up. You're just sort of layering the blocks. You do some top stitching. It's really good with woven fabrics because it creates kind of this little raggedy effect. So it's a little more classy than that typical um, raggedy square block that we sew together that takes so much fabric. This one is a whole lot easier and looks really cool depending upon the fabrics that you use. And what's also nice about this is she does this um, sort of raw edge binding, which is kind of cool. You're just going to fold it over and top sew it, and then you have this same little raggedy edge. And then finally, the last bit of show and tell in this room, I don't know if you can see it from where you're at, is this log cabin block. We did this as a as one of the classes in one of our retreats when we did our big stitch class. Okay, I know I said that those other two rooms were my favorite room, but I really, really like this one too. This one, I really like the quilts that are in here. We've got um, a couple of flannel quilts, one of my favorite rugs, and then even cooler quilts that are in the closet. So we'll start over here. Well, in fact, let's start with the rug. So this is that DIY rag rug. This one we did as a 
as a class on YouTube. Uh, super, super simple to do. Crazy simple to do. It's um, not what you think. So um, really fun. And this particular one was done with um, uh, one and a half jelly rolls is how many it took to actually make this rug. Wash is great. The more it's washed, the better it looks. Um, really, really nice. So this one is, again, another one of those wall hangings that we did. Um, well, framed pieces. You could turn it into a quilt block. You could make a pillow. But this was one of the projects that we did in our retreat where we did some piecing and then we uh, learned how to do the chunky uh, quilting stitch in that one. Uh, this is a flannel quilt and depending upon when you're watching this, this pattern may or may not yet be available. But this is was a block of the month that we did years ago and it is a it was a log cabin made out of flannel strips and then in the light areas that were formed by the uh, the light part of the log cabin block, we appliqued wool blocks. We had um, nine blocks that we did. So we're going to make this pattern available for purchase. This one is Crazy Stars. And so this is a Janet Nesbitt technique. This one is also made out of flannel. Kind of fun. And it has just a double sash. Well, it has actually a, um, a block border and then a sashing. Great big, huge flannel, heavy quilt. And then this one is also Janet Nesbitt's. I think it's called um, A Crazy Good Life. So this was another one that we did as a block of the month. If you have not yet done her crazy piecing technique, it's pretty addictive. She has, oh, maybe a dozen or 14 books. Um, and I think her books maybe are $24. And each one is full of different uh, techniques and ideas. I mean, different patterns. It's all kind of the same technique, but lots of ideas in terms of blocks and ways to finish those blocks off. Also in here, we have some, we have a little wool candle mat. We're sort of addicted to these. We have lots of these around the store patterns and books. And then we have some miniature piecing, just some little half square triangles up here. Every once in a while we'll do something sort of crazy just to kind of play with the technique. Uh, what's kind of fun is that if you are gonna do some miniature piecing, it's nice to make sure that it's a miniature piece. That way you can finish it, hang it up, and say that was kind of fun. Uh, this particular room has a humongous closet. And in this closet there are um, two, uh, well, all of the rooms have two luggage racks or two areas so that you don't have to share anything. Again, we have our um, two different colors of towels, so you don't have to worry about that. And then in here, there's two more quilts. This one, again, a block of the month that seems to be a theme uh, here. This was a block of the month that Brianna did, I think when she was eight um, in the shop, one of the first ones that we ever did. Uh, at that time, we had it in a couple different colorways, and she made hers pretty simple. She didn't add a lot of other borders. And she only did nine out of the 12 blocks at that time, but it still remains one of my favorite ones. I love her earlier work. She actually also did the machine quilting and the binding. And then also in here, I think this one is also a wood pile. Can't remember the fabric line of this, but you know, we saw the wood pile in the other room that was done out of the cowboy fabric. I'm just going to come out here so you can see it better. And you can see, instead of something a little bit different, it's just a really nice quilt if you have fabric that you don't want to cut up, that you really like the colors, you love what's in it, and you don't want to cut it into teeny tiny little pieces. A couple borders. All right, we're going to go to the last tiny little bit, and then you will have seen the whole house. All right, uh, Miss Maisie is joining us for the last part of the tour because she's bored. Now she's seen it all and um, 
So she's interested here in the laundry. So we're just going to show you, we do have um, washer, dryer, um, everything you might need if you're here for extended visit. We also have beach towels. We have some beach chairs and even some beach flip flops in case you um, decide to head down to the lake. And um, I'm going to show you as we go out this door, you are going to see gate 17. All right, and so just like when we looked out the front door, when we look out the back door, that's what you can see right across from us is gate 17. It's the condos over there where they stay. You can see their patio over there. And um, both of these facilities are available to book. Um, you just have to email me. We do vet you. We have to make sure that you really are a quilting, crafting, scrapbooking, knitting group because um, you can see with all of the quilts, we have antique quilts in some of the other rooms. We have an antique teacup collection. We just make sure that um, you can appreciate um, what we've used to decorate the facility. So you email me, cindy at fabricpatch.net, and uh, let me know your dates and how many are in your group. Uh, we can set up a tour if you want to come and see it in person. And again, Daisy House will sleep 10. Gate 17 will sleep up to 22. The basic package is 12. And then we do have a third facility called Lakeview, and it's for much smaller groups. All of the information is available on our website at fabricpatch.net. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.